Hi everyone, we're Calvin here. So let's discuss about the third question of the weekly contest on RF32. And we are given a string S and we want to perform n number of queries. So from index left until right uh, with up to k number of letter we can replace. Uh, can it forming a palindrome or not? Um, one important point also, we can rearrange the entire substring. So we can say like the order in that substring doesn't really matter. So yeah, so let's see the example how we can determine uh, whether it's it can form a palindrome or not. So I have two example here. So first example uh, is we have all, uh, all the letter having uh, even number of member, right? So it can form a palindrome like um, this one, the example A B C C B A, um, and if we have one number of odd letter, odd, odd uh, like C, we have odd number of C, right? It still can form a palindrome. So A, B, C, 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 B, A, right? But um, let's say we have even number of letter and we have A equals one and D equals one. This is the frequency. It's not possible to form a palindrome anymore. Same thing for the odd one. If we have um, a equals 1, B equals 2, C equals 3, and D equals 1. And this one is not possible to form a palindrome, right? On these two examples. Because, um, yeah, it have more than one odd member. And here it have more than zero odd member. Depends on the length of that substring is odd or, or even, right? But we are given a value of K. So K is number of repair, right? So if we able to repair this string, like, so will it be a palindrome or not? So it's possible, like we replace the D to become A. So we, re we reduce this D and add this A, right? We reduce this C, or this D before. Let's say we reduce this A and we replace it with D, right? So it can be a palindrome again, like B, C, C, B, D, C, 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 D, B. Uh, for one of the example right so how are we going to do that right so let's see the code for the that first part only so can be palindrome or not so we are given number of repair right so we also need to determine the total character is odd or even so um, total number of odd member allowed is um, so if we do a repair actually let, let's say the example here right um, we have A1 and D1, right? So we have two number of odd member, right? And with one repair, we can rep we, we can we can out we can replace two odd member, like changing this odd member to put it to another odd member, right? So that's why one repair, um, we can actually repair two number of odd member. So that's why I times it by two, and whether it's the total the length is odd or even we can have one more extra repair after that right so after that i look through the entire character so this is twin uh charge of length of 26 means the member of a until z so yeah if we have the odd member of that particular letter then we add the total odd member right and at the end, if the total odd member is less than total odd member allowed, then it's a true. Otherwise, it's a false. Okay. And the repair repair times two, as I explained before, like uh, because we can repair the D, our tar target will be another odd member. Like we change this to two and we remove the D. So we get rid of two odd member. That's why one repair can actually count it as two allowed odd member. Okay, so that's the first part. Okay, but only relying on that um, will not be able to solve this question because, um, as you can see here, the length of the character, the, the string is 10 power 5, and the queries also is 10 power 5 number of queries. So if we take a substring and calculate it every time, like right, it will be 10 power 10, which is a timeout. Okay. So how are we going to know like, um, so the problem here is on each of the queries, the substring, how are we able to know the 
number of each letter without querying it again and again right so in that case we can do a prefix sum so yeah um, as you may know like prefix sum um, let, let's take a look on a simple example here like five 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 six eight one okay the prefix sum will be five eleven nineteen and twenty right so um, the first one is 5 and then second one is 6 plus 5 11 and 8 plus 11 19 and 1 plus 19 20 so what is the benefit of having this prefix sum so we can know like um, how much is the sum of uh, certain range like for example I want to know this range like from index 1 until index 3 right from index 1 until index 3 how much is the sum so we don't want to loop it through again when we have a very large um, amount of data in a, in a in an array so from index 1 until index 3 what we can do is um, sum of index 3 minus sum of index 0 so 20 minus 5 will be 15 so this range the sum is 15 so what it have to do with this substring problem right so on each of the index, what uh, instead of a number, we calculate the number of member inside. So let's say we have a, a, a uh, this string a b a b c, right? So and at next zero, we have a equals one. So yeah, um, let, let, let's make it something like this, similar, so it's easier for you to understand. So the first index we have a equals zero, right? On second index a equals zero and b equals zero okay and next one oh sorry here's a equals one a equals one b equals one and here a equals two b equals two right and here we have another one c equals one okay so when we want to know the range of index 1 to index 3 here 0 1 2 3 okay here okay 1 2 3 2 a equals 1 a equals 1 b equals 1 a equals 2 b equals 1 and here is another one a equals 2 b equals 2 okay so we want to know the range of 1 to 3 right 1 comma 3 which is here so what we can do is um, sum of index 0 uh, index 3 minus sum of index 0 right this 0 is come from 1 minus 1 we, we read us 1 by it okay so sum of 3 is this one right 1 2 3 and sum of 0 is this okay so at the end we get the conclusion of a a equals 1 B equals 2 because 2 minus 1 is 1 2 minus 0 is 2 so in this range we have two number of B and one number of A okay so in this case uh, we just need to form the prefix sum um, by O n right and then after that uh, on every queries we have 10 power 5 number of queries as the constraint here um, we just we just need to do a minus with uh, from certain index to some other index so that will be an O1 so we only perform one time of 10 power 5 and the next time we don't need to perform 10 power 5 10 power 5 again so let's see the um, how we're going to do that right so at first we form a prefix sum as I said so the the strategy here is we look through the entire string so if that string is larger than index 0 it means you add you need to copy the from the sum before right so let's say on index 1 right index 1 we copy the entire index 0 right i minus 1 so here we copy the a equals 1 from the previous index and then add up our current character which is b so we have b equals 1 Okay, but on index 0, we don't do the copy from previous string. So that's why here is larger than 0. And we got the range sum. Okay. So, yeah. The 
the strategy of determining each of the query can be palindrome or not is doing a range sum of um, the query itself range sum of character right from index starting index until end index how much is the sum so that will be outputted here and query 2 is the number of repair is possible and then we call the call can be palindrome function I explained before and then it will return a true or false right so how do this range sum work let's see the range sum example okay so we have um, index of low and high right so if the low is less it is equals to zero means we want to count it from the beginning right so instead of minus one because my, um, index zero minus one will be index minus one which is index out of bone so we don't want to do that so we we ignore it so by default all of it is zero right and but if it's higher than one which uh, shown in this example index range of one until three so we reduce the range sum of the one previous index which is sum of zero we look through all 26 array it means like a to z we reduce um, the one index before it like index one we reduce all the sum of index zero and then we add it with the sum of index three which is the index of high okay and then we get the current uh, which is uh, a to z frequency with the given range uh, yeah so we get the given range and number of repair and then we repair with, with uh, can be palindrome or not function okay and we add it to the output and give the output so yeah that's about this question so uh, thank you for watching see you on the next weekly contest